To watch Japanese Netflix on our Amazon Fire Stick is actually very simple. To do this, we need to trick our streaming service into thinking we are viewing from that country, and to do this we need a VPN, also known as a virtual private network. So to get a VPN on our Fire Stick, the first thing we need to do is to make sure we're on our homepage. Then you want to scroll all the way across to the right to your app drawer, and you want to open the App Store. The Fire Stick App Store will look something like this. So all we need to do now is go across to the search panel, and then you want to click on the search bar, and you want to search for the VPN. The VPN we are using today is called Private Internet Access, and you can also get it with the link in the description. Once you've searched for private internet access, it should be the first result and it will look like this. So all we need to do now is go ahead and open up the application and it will tell you more about it and from here you just want to go ahead and install it. Once you've installed private internet access, you just want to go ahead and open up the application. Once the application is open, it will look like this. All we need to do now is click on the login button and you want to sign in with your private internet access account. Because you're watching this video, I assume you don't have one, so you need to click on the link in the description of this video where you can go ahead and quickly register for a private internet access account. Once you've done that, you want to come back here and you want to enter your details and sign in. So all we need to do now is to select a VPN server from anywhere around the world. So in this case, we want to watch Japanese Netflix, so we need to select a Japanese server. So as you can see, we have two Japanese servers, one that's streaming optimized and one that's in Tokyo. Now the most important thing to note here is the number below it. In this case it says 269 milliseconds which is the lowest number for the Japanese servers so we're going to select this one. After a few seconds it will successfully connect to the Japanese server and now when you browse the internet it's going to think you're browsing from Japan which is perfect for accessing Japanese content. So once we've done this we want to go back to the home page and then we want to load up Netflix. Once you're on Netflix you notice that it's not showing any Japanese content and that's because we need to refresh the application. So to do this you want to scroll all the way down and you want to click on the get help menu and here where it says country slash language it will say GB and that's because I'm currently located in Great Britain. However we connected to our Japanese server so we need to scroll all the way down to where it says reload Netflix and you want to click on that. Once Netflix has refreshed you will notice that you are now viewing the Japanese version of Netflix or whatever country you selected. So just to confirm that if we scroll all the way down to the get help menu, as you can see where it says country slash language, it now says JP, which is Japan. So now Netflix thinks we are in Japan, we can now access the Japanese version of Netflix and start watching movies and films just as we normally would. And that's it. So remember to use the link in the description to register for private internet access VPN. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.